so uh, my recommendation is not to assume anything, just to see what comes our way and then decide. On October 4th, the world was waiting. For months, astronomers had tracked an interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, a mysterious visitor from beyond the solar system that was about to make its closest approach to Mars. It was one of the most anticipated moments in modern astronomy. Every major space agency had prepared for it. NASA's orbiters were aligned, the Perseverance rover was recording, and telescopes across Earth were locked onto the same patch of sky. Scientists expected a flood of new data, a once-in-a-generation opportunity to study an object untouched by the solar system's formation. Then, without warning, everything went dark. Just as 3i Atlas entered visual range, NASA's servers went offline. The official website vanished and was replaced by a single message, under maintenance. At first, the explanation seemed harmless, an overloaded system buckling under public demand. Millions of people were watching, after all, but the coincidence didn't end there. Within minutes, the European Space Agency's data portal went down. Hours later, China's National Space Administration stopped updating its telemetry feeds. Three rival agencies, all silenced at the same time. That moment marked the beginning of one of the strangest episodes in the history of space observation. What should have been a global celebration of discovery became a synchronized blackout that lasted for days. No images, no readings, no press conferences. The world's scientific community, so accustomed to transparency, found itself in total silence. And when information finally did emerge, it didn't come from an official source. A single image appeared online, shared anonymously through an obscure astronomy forum. The file was traced to a relay backup associated with the Perseverance rover's right navigation camera. The metadata confirmed its authenticity. October 4th, 2133 Martian local time, the exact moment the networks went down. The image appeared simple at first, the Martian horizon under a pale, starlit sky. But hovering just above the horizon was something impossible to misunderstand. It wasn't a comet. It wasn't a light trail or dust plume. It was a structure symmetrical, metallic, and perfectly defined. Analysts around the world began examining the photo. Light reflection tests showed that the object reflected sunlight the way polished metal does, not ice or rock. Measuring the scale of the image based on known camera parameters, they estimated its length at 46 kilometers, with a diameter of about 12, a colossal cylinder hanging over Mars. Its surface was unblemished, no craters, no fractures, no irregularities. A natural body that size should have been scarred by time, but this was immaculate, smooth, seamless, manufactured-looking. Skeptics suggested motion blur, claiming the object was nothing more than a trick of the rover's long exposure. But that explanation collapsed quickly. Perseverance's navigation cameras are precisely calibrated instruments, and their exposure parameters are well-documented even a slow-moving body would produce a gradient, a tapered trail fading across the frame. Yet this image showed none. The brightness was perfectly uniform from edge to edge, without distortion or fading. It wasn't a smear of light, it was solid. The geometric perfection was even harder to dismiss. Nature rarely produces cylinders. Asteroids are irregular, comets are chaotic, and moons are roughly spherical, shaped by gravitational forces. But this object was exact. Straight lines, consistent curvature, no variation in its reflective surface. The image defied every natural model of formation. The anomaly grew more significant as scientists revisited earlier data. Observations of 3i Atlas before its approach had already revealed unusual behavior. Its brightness never fluctuated, its rotation was almost non-existent, and its trajectory through the solar system was unnaturally stable, perfectly straight, at a velocity of nearly 67 kilometers per second, moving against the orbital direction of the planets. It was as if the object were being guided, not simply drifting. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, a prominent voice in the study of interstellar anomalies, recalculated its reflectivity using Mars's relative distance and discovered something extraordinary. The object's albedo, its reflectivity, was higher than any known asteroid or comet. More troubling was its thermal behavior. It didn't heat up when exposed to sunlight. Every known comet warms as it nears a star, releasing gas and forming a tail. 
3i Atlas remained thermally constant. It was as if it were actively regulating its own temperature. That realization narrowed the possibilities to two, and neither was comforting. Either 3i Atlas was made of an unknown, hyper-reflective material capable of rejecting nearly all solar radiation, or it possessed an internal mechanism that maintained a fixed temperature. The first option was exotic, but not impossible. The second was transformative. If the object truly had an internal system managing its thermal state, it was functioning, not a rock, but a machine. Then came another problem, the question of survival. Based on its speed and trajectory, 3i Atlas had been traveling through interstellar space for tens of millions of years, perhaps longer. At those speeds, no known structures should last even a fraction of that time. The universe is not empty. It's filled with radiation, magnetic storms, and microscopic debris moving at lethal velocities. Even a grain of dust can vaporize an object traveling at 60 kilometers per second. Yet this thing showed no signs of damage, no impact scars, no erosion, no weathering. Its surface was as perfect as when it formed or was built. That raised the question of material and design. Why a cylinder? Why not the irregular shape of a comet or the sphere favored by gravity? In physics and engineering, the cylinder is an ideal form. It distributes stress evenly, resists deformation, and remains stable under intense pressure. It's also the most efficient geometry for rotation, capable of creating artificial gravity through centrifugal force. But the cylinder's greatest advantage lies not in mechanics, but in electromagnetism. A hollow cylinder can act as what physicists call a resonant cavity, a chamber that traps and amplifies electromagnetic waves. Such structures are used in particle accelerators, radar systems, and communication technologies. Within a resonant cavity, radiation can bounce repeatedly with minimal energy loss, allowing signals to be modulated or transmitted over vast distances. In other words, the shape of 3i Atlas wasn't just efficient, it was potentially communicative. When radar data from Mars orbiters was later analyzed, a pattern emerged that deepened the mystery. Reflected signals from the object showed faint oscillations at 1.42 GHz, the precise frequency of the hydrogen spectral line. This isn't random static, it's the universal emission frequency of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the cosmos. For decades, scientists at SETI have argued that any intelligent civilization would use this frequency to communicate because it represents a natural constant recognizable anywhere in the universe. That 3i atlas appeared to resonate at exactly this wavelength was, by any measure, astonishing. If true, the implications were staggering. Either the object was made of a material with electromagnetic properties completely unknown to science, or it was deliberately designed to operate on the hydrogen line frequency, perhaps as a form of interstellar communication. A transceiver, a probe, a messenger built to endure eternity. But 3i Atlas wasn't just emitting strange frequencies, it was behaving like an active system. Its regulated temperature, undamaged exterior and perfect symmetry suggested ongoing function, not fossilized machinery. Some researchers proposed that it might be composed of a self-repairing molecular lattice, a material that could automatically heal damage from radiation or micrometeoroids. Others suggest that it might be enveloped in a thin plasma sheath, an electromagnetic field that vaporized incoming particles before they made contact. Either mechanism could explain how it remained pristine across millions of years and countless collisions. The more the data was examined, the less sense it made as a natural phenomenon. Every physical test, every light curve, every reflection measurement pointed toward the same conclusion. 3i Atlas was built to last. Its symmetry wasn't coincidence, it was purpose. And its silence might not be the absence of communication, but the communication itself. The universe, after all, speaks in physics long before it speaks in language. By now, the public blackout had taken on a different meaning. If NASA, ESA, and China truly observed what the leaked image implied, silence might have been the only possible response. Admitting that humanity had encountered something engineered, something potentially active, would destabilize not just scientific frameworks, but public faith in them. 
how do you explain a structure older than civilization that defies every known law of nature? Perhaps the agencies weren't hiding evidence of alien technology. Perhaps they were confronting something they couldn't explain. After the blackout lifted, official statements resumed. NASA's systems were restored, ESA updated its Mars telemetry, and China's space portal went back online. Yet none of the agencies mentioned 3i Atlas again. The event was never referenced in briefings or mission logs. It simply vanished from discussion. The image, however, continued to circulate. Analysts refined their measurements, independent researchers reprocessed the raw data, and every iteration pointed to the same result. The object was cylindrical, metallic, and smooth. It was unlike anything humanity had ever observed. As weeks turned into months, 3i Atlas continued its silent journey. After passing Mars, it drifted outward, crossing the orbit of Jupiter and fading into the dark. Telescopes tracked it as long as possible, watching it maintain its course with unwavering precision. There were no fragments, no debris trails, no signs of decay. By early 2026, it had disappeared from visual range entirely, returning to the deep, unlit corridors of interstellar space. For many, the mystery faded with it. News cycles moved on, attention turned elsewhere, and the official narrative labeled the event as a data interruption coinciding with a cometary flyby. Yet for the scientists who had seen the raw numbers, the questions never left. Why had an interstellar object behaved as if it were intelligent? How could something that smooth, that stable, and that enduring exist in a universe defined by entropy? The most conservative interpretation is that 3i Atlas was an extraordinary but natural anomaly, an interstellar fragment formed under unknown conditions, its perfect geometry the product of chance. But that explanation feels insufficient against the weight of the data. A more radical view is that 3i Atlas was technological, a manufactured object traveling through space on a mission older than humankind. A probe, perhaps, designed to study the evolution of solar systems, transmitting information not in words but through resonance, using the language of physics as its medium. That possibility forces a deeper question. What if we were never the first to explore? What if the act of observation has always been reciprocal? If 3i Atlas is a machine, then it is one that has survived millions of years, unbroken and functional, capable of navigating the magnetic scaffolding of galaxies without engines or fuel. It may not need to speak, because its mere existence conveys everything. Longevity as communication, endurance as signal. No official body has confirmed or denied the leaked image. The public record remains silent. But among astrophysicists, engineers, and theorists, 3i Atlas has become a quiet reference point, a mystery that challenges both science and imagination. It is a reminder that the universe is not obliged to make sense on human terms. Some phenomena may remain beyond comprehension, not because they are supernatural, but because they are too advanced to fit within our current understanding of nature. If 3i Atlas was just a comet, the blackout remains inexplicable. If it was not, then perhaps the agency's silence was the only responsible response. For now, the object is gone, its trajectory leading it back into the void. But its brief appearance left a question that may echo for generations. What if we have already been seen? Maybe the silence of the agencies isn't a cover-up at all. Maybe they, like the rest of us, are still listening, waiting for a sound that has been traveling through the universe long before our species had the words to describe it.